Good evening, class. Welcome. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Miss. Thanks for being here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Darío. Good evening, Sandra Leticia. Miss Elia Cristina, thank you for being here. Luis Miguel is here also. Mr. Elias Flores is here. And Claudia Maria. Okay. In a couple of seconds, we're going to get started because we still have some seconds. Carla Chavez is joining right now at the moment. Okay, very well. Great, great, great. And Pablo, thank you, thank you. I hope that you brought the sentences you created yesterday class. Mm -hmm. Yes, congratulations. Excellent. Miss Concepcion, welcome. Mariana Scarlett, thank you for being here. It is exactly the time to get started class. So welcome everyone as every day. I am so glad that all of you are here, okay? And we're going to get started because we're going to start with the feedback on the sentences that you created yesterday. And here we go. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you as every single day. Okay, here. Okay, but let me see the chat. Tony, really? Okay. Yes, teacher, excuse me. Okay, okay, thank you for telling us. But we are going to miss your participation, okay? Miss you. Okay, here, let me see, over here, okay, and here, and here we go. Okay, Tony is going to be as a listener the first hour. Hey, what happened here? I don't know what happened here. I had to share my PPT. I, okay. I, I still in the, in the road. Okay, yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, so here today is November 17th, 2022 class, and here we go. Today is our video conference number 12. Our first activity as every single day, greetings. Activity number two, feedback, as I told you, one of you is going to help me, or three of you are going to help me reading the objectives and the pre-task for today is express a problem regarding equipment. The preparation task express a problem regarding equipment and the task express a problem regarding equipment. I expect that we're going to cover the activities at pages 31 and 32. And here I was updating yesterday's uh, homeworks and the midterm. And I think that probably because some of you are very sick, you know, because of the virus that is out there, the virus of the flu and the other one. Some of you have been in troubles in order to complete the assignments, but I encourage you to do it, okay? So you don't have problems at the end. Again, a reminder class for uh, your attendance. It is expected that you stay in class, connected 120 minutes to our classes. And the attendance is taken two times. Remember, we know that, right? And to activate the camera, when you say here, I'm here or present. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me for the one-on-one -on -one session. And that is the reminder, again, in Zoom, we have in here, this is the, expect, the expectation, right? That all of you have the cameras on. And in Zoom, we have available the mute button, unless you are told not to do so. Camera on, the chats are available in the breakout rooms. You will have available the ask for help button. And as every day, I ask you to keep uh, respect 
for one another, okay? Let's be respectful and things are going to be better. In class, regarding to the homeworks and evaluations, now we are in section three. So by November 22nd, you need to have completed the homeworks of unit number three. Remember, in this section, there is no exam, only the last exam, the final test in week number four. Okay, and now here we have the objectives, the specific objective and the class objective, yeah? So I need one volunteer to help me reading the general objective, please. One vol, oh, Luis Miguel is commuting, is in his route, I think. Okay, it is live, so he, it is a proof of his responsibility, but he cannot draw, uh, okay, he's driving so he cannot read, otherwise he's going to crash, and we don't want that. But Miss Celia Cristina is willing, okay, anxious to help us reading the general objective. Okay, Miss Celia, please help us reading the general objective. General objective, participate. Participants will develop, develop competitions that will allow them to mark stems in a process and ask and answer questions to check that maturity processors are made in face-to-face -face and cell, um, telephone conversation with others in other in work situations. Thank you so much. Remember that this is the general objective for the course, okay, for the module. And it is the intention that all of you as participants during the process, you will develop competencies that will allow you to mark steps in a progress. This was, if you remember, in unit one and two, and ask and answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are met in face-to-face -face and telephone conversations with others in work situations. And this is what we began in unit two, and now we continue in unit three. Now the specific objective for today, who wants to help us? Reading, one volunteer to read the specific objective. Obviously, Luis Miguel, no. <laughs> okay. Mm. Miss Concepcion, are you available so you can help us reading the specific objective? Hello, Miss Concepcion, activate the microphone. No, she's not available and I saw that she was here. Let me see. Ah, okay, uh, no, you're available, okay. Please help us reading the specific objective, Concepcion. Thank you so much. Excellent. And now the class objective. Let me see who can help us reading the class objective. Maybe Pablo, are you available to help us reading the class objective? Yes. Regáleme un minuto porque estoy resolviendo un problema de, de ah, trabajo okay. en el, por el momento. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Let me see, maybe Miss Claudia Maria, are you available? Okay, Claudia Maria is not available. Um, uy, él sí es available, class. Ah, oh, but Atilio is here. Hello, Atilio, is your connectivity okay? Hello. Yes. Hello. Okay. Um, problem. Yes, I know. Uh, but right now, let take, let's take advantage of this. So tell me the class objective. Would you help us read in the class objective, Atilio, please? The class objective. Atilio. No. I can see the screen. Atilio, you cannot see the screen. No puede ver la pantalla, Atilio. It's rare. Okay, I'm going to share it for the class. 
by the end of the class, you guys as participants will be able to use the present perfect tense. That is why I wanted one of you to read it because today we're going to practice with the present perfect tense. So get ready with the verbs in past participle because those are the verbs that you're going to be practicing today. And here, what do we have? We have the feedback. If you remember class yesterday, you were building questions in singular and plural using is there, are there, and you were providing short answers, but the questions were about your house. Yes, for example, you, you wrote, are there four bedrooms in your house? And you answer, yes, there are, or no, there aren't. Is there a big kitchen in your house? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Depending on your reality at home, is there a dining room in your house? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Is there a front garden in your house? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Is there a small living room? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Is there a backyard in your house? Yes, there is or no, there isn't. That was part of what you did yesterday at the beginning. But later, I share with you this slide on how to describe a problem. And there are uh, some questions that we need to keep in mind, the questions and the potential answers, okay? who, where, what, when, and why. And then this leads us to this question. What is the problem? Who is experiencing this problem? Where is the problem taking place? When did the problem start? And why is this problem occurring? Yeah. And we were also working, if you will remember, uh, with the manual with some phrases in order to report the problem and some phrasal verbs. But I ask you at the end of the class to build some sentences in order to contextualize them. Yeah, not to learn the phrases in an isolated way. No, you need to use them in context so you can remember them. And now I ask you, do you have some of those sentences that you can share right now with the class? Hello. For example, teacher. Uh, no, you were building the sentences in the groups. No, you yeah. have to share. <laughs> Give me okay. one, please. I no, want to no. Okay, no, but you were in, in. You were not in the group because okay. Yes. I'm, okay, yes. so these were the phrases that I asked you. Okay, for example, I'll have a look at it. I need to speed up things, to speed things up, check the brushes or a small problem, an important problem, check it, a period of two weeks. And then we have a fortnight, a minor fault, have a look at it, speeding things up. Mm -hmm. These were the phrases that we use in the conversation that you also created, yeah? And you had to build some sentences using this vocabulary, right? Yes. So right now I ask you, right now I ask you, do you have some of those sentences with you, the ones that you worked with your partners yesterday? ¿Tienen alguna de esas oraciones que trabajaron ayer con sus compañeros en equipo? Yes. Okay, so would you like to share them, Miss Celia? No, for me. Zoom. Zoom me sacó. Oh, so sorry, poor little thing. Okay, but now you're here and you're going to learn <laughs> yes, from the partner, sorry, okay? <laughs> okay, Celia, please. I have a lot of washing machine. I need to take a car to the workshop because it makes a straight noise. I need to faster the machine for the production. I need to speed things up, finish before Monday. I receive my payment uh, for, for night. I have to spend the shot. 
we are having a mirror faculty in cells these years. I have to check tomorrow's reports. The printer doesn't work properly. We have extended the shot to 9 p.m. Very well done, excellent. And remember, we're having a minor fault in cells this year. So the phrases are contextualized in a very good way. Congratulations, very well done. Claps, claps for that group. Excellent. And now we need another group. Do we have another group available with the sentences that you were building yesterday to contextualize the vocabulary? Mm, nobody else. Just one. Mm -hmm. The thing is that I remember uh, Tony was the secretary in his team but he is busy at work right now. So he is not connected, I think, yeah. No, he is connected, but he is, uh, you know, at work. So he is not able to share right now the sentences, but remember class that I told you, all of you need to keep that file so you can, okay, recall so you can practice. Do we have another participant? If there is, two, three, or five sentences, if you didn't finish building all of them, but the ones that you created, okay? No, 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 I know, oh, don't, don't tell me that. We do, but the, uh, I can't because I no llegado because. <laughs> ah, Miss Carla, you have them, but you are really, you are commuting. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, Wendy. Um, my condolences. I am reading your your message. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So sorry for your loss. Okay, lamento superbio. Okay, Mr. Tejada. Hey, you continue as a listener, Marianne. Okay, so here we go. Very well done. So no other group is available to share the sentences. Oh my God. In misconception, what about your sentences? Claudia Maria, your sentences? Claudia Maria, Concepcion, yeah, and you are in your group with me. Uh -huh. oh, so you are the representative. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stephanie. Okay, uh, let's see. And what uh, Nelson says that he's going to be. And Darío? Uh, está, están escritas en la máquina de Carla y todavía no llega. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Las podría leer, las podría leer. Ok. Ah, ok, es, estás proyectando, Carla. No, es que todavía, pero las tengo en la compañía. No, okay. but Concepción is sharing, because I read, you are viewing Concepción Marina Benavides' screen. Yes, Concepción? Yes, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, read son I okay. have a look at the cell phone. I'll have a look at the copier machine. I'll have a look at the motor machine. It makes a weird smell. It makes a strange beep. It makes a strange beep vibration. I need to check the components. I need to verify the nonce. I need to test the printer. It is a big problem. It is a heavy right. trouble. It's a small issue. We need to revive fast the problem. I need to accelerate the process. You need to approve the authorization. Once a fortnight, once a week, once a 
Ramon. Once a year. We all have to stop now. We will have to make a break. We will have to extend the operations and we'll have modified the configuration. Congrats, very well done. Excellent. Yeah. Very, very well. Okay, thank you for sharing. So you see, there is production over here. Okay, there is a lot of production. And let's see, right now, I'm going to start uh, calling your names in order to take your first attendance of the, of the class, okay? So here we go, because it is the time. And here, Atilio, Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. A Brandon, not yet. Claudia. Claudia Maria. Not available. Concepcion. Present. Yes, Concepcion is here. Darío Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Stephanie. Stephanie. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Josué, absent. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Luis Miguel, uh, here, very active today. <laughs> Luis Present Miguel. teacher. Thank you. Marianne. Marianne Scarlett. Marianne Scarlett. Teacher. Thank you, Marianne. Marina Jansi. Absent. Mirna Lisset. Present. Aha, uh -huh. Mirna Lisset is here. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Thank you, Nelly. Nelson. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Via chat, you answer. Norma, Norma Patricia. Norma is absent. Pablo. Pablo. Pablo was here. Okay, but at the moment, he's not here. Miss Sandra. Sandra Gracias, Leticia. Sí. Thank you, Miss. ¿Cómo puedo? Aquí estoy. <laughs> okay, you still continue with your sore throat. <laughs> con la garganta dañada. Sí, yeah? sí la verdad, sí. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're taking medication. Sí, anoche por eso no me conecté porque me tocó que ir al seguro de emergencia y regresé anoche ya no pude conectarme la verdad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Miss Wendy is here. She's in more. Está de vuelo, Miss Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Carla Sofía. Present. Thank you, Miss Carla. And Miss Elia Cristina is here. Okay, very Present good. teacher. Yes, of course, you're here representing the team with the sentences. Okay, class, listen. The topic we're going to start today is the present perfect tense. Maybe you remember this. Okay, but I need you to recall the verbs in past participle. Let's remember, we have the simple present, the simple past, and the past participle. Maybe you have studied the list of verbs and you see three columns, yeah? We're going to work with the third column of the verbs today. And I'm sharing right now with you, okay, this information. Okay, class, here. This is the introduction to the topic. And we have the present perfect tense is an English verb tense used for past actions that are related or continue into the present. It's easily recognized by the auxiliary verbs or helping verbs 
have in has. As in, I have gone dancing since I was a child. In other words, the present perfect tense is an English verb tense used for past actions. But the characteristic is that those past actions are associated, related to the present because it might continue in the present. And you can identify it very easily <clears throat> for the moral or auxiliary verb have or has in third person singular. And here you have an example, okay? Now class, I ask you the following. What is the difference then between the simple past and the past participle? If you have, well, teacher, the simple past is for past actions, okay? And also the past participle. What is the difference between those two tenses? Do you remember? The present perfect and the simple past. Do you remember the difference? Que se le agrega ed. No. That is a characteristic of the simple past. Ah, uh, uh, plus, uh, has, or have. No? That, is, that is the grammar structure. But I mean, the meaning. What is the difference in the meaning? ¿Cuál es la diferencia en el significado de los verbos? De los tiempos verbales, present perfect and past tense. If you say, uh, for example, last night I went to a restaurant. Are you still in the restaurant? The verb is in past. No, you yes, but the action, the action. Don't focus on the verb. Focus on the action. Why? Because there are the regular verbs many times are spelled the same in past and the same in past participle, yes or no. But here I want you to focus on the meaning. Quiero que se enfoque en el significado. If I say, last night I went to, uh, I went to eat to a restaurant. Last night is in past tense because today is another night. Last night is over. We said goodbye to that time. Are we still eating at the restaurant? No. The main difference is that in simple past, the action is over. En pasado simple, la acción se finaliza, se termina y nada que ver. Solo cuenta la historia usted, ¿sí? But in present perfect, La acción puede haber comenzado en el pasado y aún continúa en el presente, ¿sí? Eso es lo que les acabo de explicar. Esa es la gran diferencia en, en el pasado. Usted dice, I, I went to, mm, last Christmas I went to Cancún. La Navidad pasada yo fui a Cancún, pero es la Navidad pasada. Ahora ya vamos a la Navidad de este nuevo año. Entonces, eso ya terminó, ya es un recuerdo, ¿sí? But if I ask you, um, how long have you been studying English? And you may tell me, I have studied English for three, five, or ten years. Pero continúa estudiando. Yo he estado estudiando inglés desde hace cinco, diez años, veinte años, qué sé yo, or two months, three months, ¿ya? Yeah? Pero todavía la acción continuó porque estamos en la clase de inglés. So that is the uh, main uh, difference between the simple past and the present perfect. Because here the present perfect tense is an English verb tense used for past actions. Acciones en el pasado that are related to or continue into the present. Que están asociadas o, con, o pueden continuar en el presente, están asociadas al presente, a lo que estamos viviendo, o pueden continuar ejecutándose. ¿Is that okay? And that is what you need to keep in mind. Because in most of the standardized tests, they ask you, use the simple past or the present perfect. 
but you need to contextualize. Pero para usar esos verbos, usted tiene que contextualizarlos, ¿de acuerdo? Porque usualmente el verbo en pasado, okay, las estructuras en pasado, ya llevan un periodo de tiempo. Okay, and we're going to study this today. And I shared it too. Okay, thank you for sharing. And I have uh, to share with you, class, another slide. And it is this one. Okay. We use this tense, the present perfect, when we want to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present, okay? And this is what I was telling you guys. We use this tense when we want to talk about unfinished action, una acción que no se ha terminado, que está inconclusa, or, or un estado, ¿verdad? Or habits, o algún hábito, that started in the past, que inició en el pasado, and continue to the present. So that is the big difference. But on the other side, the simple... The simple past, the action is over, okay? La acción ya terminó en el pasado simple, ¿sí? Okay, thank you, Atilio, for sharing. And that is what we're going to practice. And in this case, class, we use the past participle of the verbs. So I'm going to share with you what we have in the manual, okay? Here. Okay, this is what we were practicing yesterday. And here we go. Look at this. I'm going to stop sharing this. Uh, you have at page 32, this explanation. How to use the present perfect. Use present perfect to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. Use the verbs in the participle form. This is what I told you from the very beginning tonight, okay? Use the verbs in the past participle form and the auxiliary for third person singular, he, she, it, and we use blah, blah for the rest of the pronouns, which is the, the auxiliary verb that we're going to use. Do you remember? I told you <clears throat> for third person singular, Ahí les compartieron en la slide, has. And for the rest of the pronouns, we use? Have. Excellent. Have. have. That's it. Have. We use have. Mm -hmm. And then you have the structure over here. Subject, auxiliary verb, have or has, depending on the subject, the verb in past participle, and the complement. Examples. I have checked the reports. They have not replaced the battery. Uh, she has explained her situation. The team has not had that kind of problems. Notice that checked, replaced, explained are regular verbs, okay? And this is what matters to me right now. And we need to, to remember, okay? Hello, Norma. Welcome. Okay, class. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Oh, okay. For example, in the irregular verbs is the problem because we have in present drive. Yes? Past tense? Past tense of drive? Hello, class. Past tense of drive? Simple past? Drive. 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 And the past participle? Driven. Drive. No. Drive, drive, driven. driven. Okay. One that is very common. Speak, simple past. Spoke. Spoke. Past participle. Spoken. Spoken. Okay, we're going to, in this structure, the present perfect, you're going to use driven, spoken. That is why I was telling you that in many books and the list of verbs we have simple present, simple past, and past participle. For the present perfect, we use the past participle of the verbs, yeah? Another verb, 
very common. Write. Simple past. Wrote. Wrote. Past participle. Past participle. Wait. Written. 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 Okay. Written. Okay, very well. Um, another one. Let me see. That is kind of common, uh, but not regular, irregular. Uh, for example, Paul, oh. no, because talk is regular. We talk, talked, and talked. This is regular. We say that uh, the verbs are regular when they have the it the it is past, the simple past and the past participle are the same. Excellent, thank you. We have it, ate, eaten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we use this, and it is that we need to focus more in the irregular verbs because in the regular it is the same. No problem. But there are some verbs that are kind of uh, irregular. Okay, but keep. they keep, for example, cut, cut, we cut, cut, and cut. How are you going to identify that the verb is used in uh, simple past or in past participle or in present? By context, por el contexto. Por eso ayer les dije que teníamos que contextualizar las expresiones, las expresiones, las frases, porque a través del contexto vamos a identificar en este caso si el verbo está utilizado, simple present, simple past o pa past participle, e igual estos en pasado simple y pasado participio. And then uh, somebody said give, gave, given, yes, okay. These the irregulars are easier to use than the uh, regular because you easily identify gave is in past tense, given is past participle, yeah? Okay, so these are the ones that we're going to be using right now in the present perfect tense, okay? Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? Hello? No questions. No hay preguntas. Okay. Uh, microphones off, please. Los micrófonos apagados, por favor. Okay. So no questions. Okay. Let's continue then because we, practice makes perfect. We're going to start practicing at the moment. Okay. And here we go. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here we have something. In negative statements, add not after the auxiliary. And you have an example. The team has not had that kind of problems. The team has not had that kind of problems. If we replace the word, the phrase, the team, that is the subject, we should say it, yeah? It has not had that kind of problems. That's why we use has because it is their person singular but here i have they have and that's it now class it is for you to do it right now write affirmative and negative sentences using the prompts that are given here from one to six okay and notice that in number two for example you have the word not that gives you the tip that the sentence must be in negative, yes or no? Okay, let's build these sentences using the present perfect tense in affirmative or negative. Okay, let's do it. When you finish, you let me know so we double check, okay?
Did you finish building the sentences, class? Yes? Okay, here we go. For number one, what do you have? Who wants to dictate the sentence for the teacher? Mario has shaped the fuse. And full stop at the end. Mario has changed the fuse. Number two, how does it go? The production have not stopped it. Stopped with double P, okay? With double yes. the last P. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, number three. Or team have fixed the equipment. Uh, 
our team has fixed the equipment, okay? Now in number four, Jenny not block the courts. Jenny has not blocked the covers. We write double G at the end. Jenny has not blocked no. the cord. Uh, double G. Yes. <laughs> no, you have to double because it is monosyllable. Okay. Okay. And remember when uh, like a stop, it follows the mm -hmm. same rule because it ends in a consonant, but that consonant is followed by a vowel that is preceded by another consonant. Yeah. That okay. is the same case. So the secretary make enough copies. The secretary has made enough copies. The secretary has made enough copies. Yeah. Uh, number six. The technician has checked the connector. The technician has checked the connector. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There you are. Thank you. The technician has checked the connector. We follow. Okay. Well, Subject. I yes. stay in the six sentence. The technician, why? The technician is uh, space technician. That space technician. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. I heard uh, I heard that Chrissy that you were saying I had a mistake in number six and, and I was saying but you dictated it okay so here class we follow the pattern subject Mario the production our team Jenny the secretary the technician the auxiliary have or has Mario has, the production has, our team has, Jenny has, the secretary has, the technician has. And then three. the verb in past participle. Mario I has have a question. Three is have, no has, no. Old and nuestro. Sí, pero have. como estamos hablando de nuestro equipo, no de nuestros equipos. Ah, uh, okay. It is only one. So our mm. team has, yeah? Okay. Our, our national soccer team has participated only twice in the World Soccer Championship. <laughs> okay, nuestra selección nacional solo ha participado dos veces en el torneo mundial de fútbol. Our team, there is only one, okay? But if you say our teams, it is plural, okay? Uh, and then, uh, we have the verbs in past participle, changed, stopped, fixed, blocked, made, checked, okay? Questions, class, or comments about these sentences? Everything clear? Everything okay? Darío has shared, I think, with you a list of verbs via WhatsApp, okay? So consider them. Is the structure clear? Yes? Okay. So now we get backwards. And here we have, okay, this situation. How often do you have problems with your computer? Who is in charge of checking on them when there is a problem, okay? So here we have how many questions? How often do you have problems with your computer is number one. Who is in charge of checking on them when there is a problem? When checking on them means the computers, yeah? When there is a problem. So class, tell me how often do you have problems with your computer? at work or at home. Mm -hmm. 
Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay, very well. Because with computers, probably it is not a big deal. With other devices, maybe. In a class, when there is a chance that the computer is not working correctly or okay, who is in charge of uh, checking the computers at work or at home? Myself. Yourself. Yes. Carla. Nelly. Yes. Really. And yes. Carla, you do it. So both of yes. you girls are technicians in computers. Oh yes. my <laughs> God. Wow. Congrats. Excellent. Very well. Now we're going to talk about you girls. Yeah. In the conversation, because it is about the technician. And here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and practice with a partner. Look at this. We have Luke and George. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere, and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, <clears throat> the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Okay. The technician is coming because sometimes <clears throat> you, you fill in a form requesting, asking for help because you reported a problem, but the technician seems that never shows up to help you. Yeah. And you say, but it is urgent. I would like you to, I would like you to come right now. Me gustaría que tú, usted viniera en este momento. I'm going to send you someone. They tell you, le voy a enviar a alguien, dice. And you, oh my God. Okay, so class, we're going to practice this conversation. And in here, we are contextualizing, if you notice, the present perfect, have checked. Have you checked in interrogative sentences? Yes, I have short answers. Uh, has checked third person singular. We have not verified negative or plural. Uh, Anna has had, notice this, has had. Has in this case is the modal auxiliary and had is the past participle of the verb. <clears throat> Let's remember. There is only with the verb has. Let's recall before we go to the breakout rooms. So we avoid any misunderstanding because we're going to try, well, you're going to help me guys. We're going to conjugate the verb have, okay? In present, we have I have. You You have, he has, excellent, she has, has. it has, has. has. y quien me movió la, 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 me movió la, la imagen, ay, quien está atravesando la imagen, Lo que pasa es que aquí ya lo tengo que borrar. Ok, ahora escriban ustedes porque hasta me movieron el lápiz. Ok, who wants to write the conjugation of the verb have? ¿Alguien tiene deseo de escribir en la pantalla? Escriba, por favor. Ok, write the conjugation of the verb in present. Feel free. Ok. ¿Quién nos va a ayudar a conjugar acá en My Whiteboard? Ahí sí lo estaban haciendo bien. 
Okay, we have here. We were saying the conjugation of the verb uh, have, right? And you were dictating to me, but somebody got excited. And then we say, I have in present tense. You have. Uh, mm -hmm. Has. She. Has. Has. It. Uy. It. Has. Has. We. Have. 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 You have two. They have. have. They have. Let's remember that we have twice ha, you because this is singular and this is plural. Tenemos dos veces you porque uno es singular y el otro es plural. Yes or no? Do you remember that? Okay, class. So if you notice here, we have a special person because for third person singular in simple present tense, there is a change with this verb. Have, has, has, has. But what happens in simple past? In simple past, it is easy. Why? Because we have had for all the persons, singular or plural. There is no exception. There is no special person for um, have, in past tense, and what about past participle? Had, it is the same. I had, you had, he had, she had, it had, we had, you had, you they have, had, they no have. problem. The, the change is only in third person singular, present tense, but for simple past, in past participle, uh -uh, no problem, okay? Yes, are we clear? And remember, remember class, this verb has double function. Sometimes, most of the times, it works as a simple verb, but many times it is used, like in this case, for the uh, present perfect as a modal auxiliary. And in the example that I was pointing at in the manual, we have in one sentence, the two cases as modal verb and as a simple verb, yes? So here we go and I'm going to share with you and notice this, okay? <clears throat> because here, Anna, okay, this one, Anna, over here, Anna has had. In the first part, has is the modal auxiliary. And the second part is the main no, no, verb of the sentence. Microphone soft, please. Los micrófonos. Okay. Les decía, acá está la doble función de este verbo. En la primera parte es el modal auxiliary y en la segunda es el verbo principal en past participle, Anna has had, okay? So don't feel like a strange or weird when you, okay? When you uh, see them together. And notice that it is third person singular. So there is no change for the past participle. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment, okay? And here we have, once again, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see, by the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the problem, this problem. Miss Celia, I have to tell you something here. Mm. Here, has the maintenance team 
replace the batteries. Usamos has porque the maintenance team, ¿ok? El equipo de mantenimiento. Pero fíjese la respuesta. No they haven't. ¿Por qué? Si estamos hablando en tercera persona de singular, acá la respuesta es no they haven't. Does anybody know? ¿Alguien sabe? And it is correct. You ask with has the man and steam replaced the batteries? No, they El haven't. El equipo. Ajá, sí. pero porque es un it. No, pero, ajá, correcto, acá. Pero porque uh -huh. la respuesta es no, they haven't. ¿Por qué está en negativo? No, no porque son no. ellos. Correcto. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the reason? Do you know the reason? Cambia. Pero ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque la primera, pues, se, perdón, se está hablando, este, como dice, de un, de un grupo, o sea, una, por decir, un, una unidad. Y ya eh, cuando se dice, no, they haven't, se está hablando de ellos, o sea, de varios. ¿Y quiénes son esos varios? El equipo. Pero si el equipo es uno. Pero como el equipo, es estar, cuando se habla de equipo, se habla solo decir el equipo. Y Ajá. ahí se está hablando de los que conforman el equipo. Correcto. El team is a collective noun. Es un nombre colectivo. Es decir, es singular, pero está compuesto por varios integrantes. Por eso acá tenemos la respuesta. No, they haven't, porque nos estamos refiriendo ya no al equipo, sino a los miembros del equipo de la IKI. Yes? Okay? So don't feel like, uh, how come teacher, but has replaced, has the man and steam replaced, and you answer, no, they haven't, because here you are talking about one collective noun, and here about the members of that collective noun. That is why we have, they haven't, okay? Do you have any question about this conversation? Preguntas, comentarios sobre esta conversación? No? Okay, class, right now you're going to be transferred in order to practice this conversation and say it as natural as possible and try to develop fluency because very soon you are going to be in module six. You're going to say goodbye to the beginner's level in the next module and then you turn to an upper level, okay? So you need to develop fluency. And here we go, okay? But let me see the... Ajá, uh -huh, Brandon. Hello. Okay. Oh, really, Brandon. Brandon. Okay. Nelson. Hello. Okay. Now I'm going to transfer you to the groups. I'm updating the chat. Okay. Here. Okay. So here we go. Let's see. Okay, class, I'm going to send you the invitation. Join your groups, please. I sent you the invitation and let's begin with the practice, okay? Join your groups, even though class, if you are listeners, please join the group so you can listen to the practice. I need Marianne Scarlett and Mirna Lisset to join to group number one. Atilio, go to group number two, please. Uh, he... Wendy in group number four and in group number five, 
Winnie de Stephanie Carranza, Luis Miguel, Ann, Marina Yancy. Y todos ustedes están de oyentes, niños, qué barbaridad. Atilio, go to your group. Hello, class. Hello, Sandra Leticia. Are you available? And Claudia Maria, are you available? Hello, teacher, teacher, I will be at home in 15 minutes. I'm driving. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to... um. <clears throat> to transfer you to another group because in this group you are supposed to be four but I only have both of you okay <coughs> so here your little six still miss um, okay uh, Sandra, Leticia I'm going to transfer you to team number two okay? okay I'm going to send you the invitation right now okay teacher Ay, a Claudia la mandé al equipo dos. A usted la voy a mandar al equipo tres. Ay, qué tantos nombres que me hacen. Ok. Here. I sent you the invitation. No, no, no. Okay. Bueno. Eso lo voy a leer, ¿verdad? Yeah, only to practice as much as possible and remember to switch roles. Recuerden el intercambio de roles, okay? Okay. ¿Quieres comienzo? Okay. Vale, comienzo yo. What now with the, comp the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I want to own. That's too bad. How about the connection? How do you check all the cables are booked? Look it. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it, it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Hello, class. Marina Yancy, Stephanie Carranza, and Luis Miguel. None of you are available. Oh, thank you. Only you. And so I'm going to transfer you, Luis Miguel, to another team, okay? Thank you. So you can practice. Okay, you go to group number four. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to group number four, Luis Miguel, so you can practice. I sent you the invitation, Luis Miguel. Computer yours. Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere. And I it won't turn on. That's too bad. How how about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have in Mario the Technicas. Have checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the man Manan. Manan. Lo mismo, no se equivoca. Manenas. 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 Has the Manenas team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. Why the way? The technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. Cambiemos para que... Luis, no sé si está. Hola. Ya Luis Miguel yes. is here. 
Ay, está con nosotros. Remember to Pueden try to no, say as natural. No, she's on morning. Ella está de duelo en este momento. Oiganme. What's wrong with the... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ok, sorry. no, I need you to sound like uh, Mr. Corvera was uh, reading. Very natural, ok. Traten de no ir cortando las palabras en las oraciones, sino que de... de Así ya como conversación, ¿ok? Porque ya casi van al nivel 6. Deben de tener ya fluid, sí. fluidez, ¿ok? Bye. Okay. Bye. Continue. What's okay. wrong every week? I see by the way that the mission is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the problem. Ok. Tony. Hey. What's wrong with the computer, George? ¿Quién va conmigo? Um, bye, voy yo. Hello, Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked uh, it everywhere. And it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables or plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified uh, the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, mm, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent the a memo uh, very every every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope they. I hope he can fix this problem. Perfect. Denle vuelta a la tortilla. Voy con Celia. <ríe> Ahí voy con Celia. Dele, niña Celia. O lo que hoy nos cambiamos los nombres. Vaya. What's wrong with the computer, Tony? Hello, Celia. Well, I don't know. I have checked it. Ok. Uh -huh. Ay, entonces, ¿quién sigue? Inicio. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? How do you check it? All the cables are good. Yes, I have. And Maria, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. I don't know. Hello. Hello. Um, Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Has the management team replaced? I see. <laughs> the batteries. Este, no, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. Cambiamos o no inicia Tilio con con usted. Yo estoy aquí. Ah, ahí está Claudia, entonces que siga Tilio con Claudia. Bye. Eh, Yo creo que Tilio se fue. Comienzo. Eh, Ana, Claudia, ¿ya está listo? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong with the computer, George?
Atilio. Atilio, you have to answer. Hello, Atilio, are you here? Hello, we, I don't know how checking in every way and it won't turn up. That's too bad. How about the connection? How you check it? Or Hello. the cable? Are no me escucha. Hello, no me escucha. Yes. Si le escuchamos, Atilio, le escuchamos, usted nos escucha. Atilio, Claudia estaba practicando con usted, la escuchaba. Hola. Parece que Atilio tiene problemas de audio. Sí, como que no escucha. Entonces, tal vez Miss Claudia puede practicar con alguien más mientras Atilio resuelve el problema. Hola, Atilio, ya no se escucha. Hello, hello. hoy se me escucha. Sí, sí. Hello. Okay, yes, perfectly. Okay, Claudia, continue with Atilio. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked? Check it, all the cables are plugged. Maintenance. It's maintenance or maintenance? You can pronounce no. both. It depends on the state that you are. Depende del estado en el que usted esté. Right now, I want to hear in British. <laughs> British <laughs> is another language, but I say in the state, when you are in the USA, you travel to different states and you're going to listen to the speakers in different accents. Yeah, they, I... They, I are, they, are, they, are, they are called the different variations of language. For example, if you go to Minnesota, you're going to find that even for native speakers, it's very difficult to understand very young people speaking. They, they say, slower, slowly, please, slow down, because young people in, in Minnesota, they speak very, very, very fast. But even it is a problem for native speakers, white skinned people to understand other white skinned people. Mm -hmm. So every state has an accent, that is why. In some countries you're going to listen uh, an apple, in some others you're going to listen an apple. An apple. Mm -hmm. So it depends. I, I want to travel to the channel. Mm -hmm. the, 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Me on Baltimore in Maryland. Okay, let's continue with the practice. Okay. We, we do three times. <laughs> huh? Teacher. Yes, can sir. Can check, check? Check. 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 In. In, uh, you, you mean in, in past tense? Yes. The pronunciation for check ends in D. Checked. 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 Ajá, checked. Checked. Con ese checked. al final, ¿verdad? No, with D, because it is past tense. Checked. Because you checked. have three pronunciations for the past tense in regular verbs. With D, checked. With D and ID. Checked. Check. check. Uh huh. Check. Verify. Verify. Or check it. No. Check it. Check. No. Check. 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 Mm -hmm. check. Oh, I see. check. 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 Only add. Well, yeah. Check. You only add D as the pronunciation. Check. Check. Mm -hmm. check it. Verify. Or verify. 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 Or verify. Verified, always verified. 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 Siempre con la D. Yes. Verified. Uh -huh. Verified. Replace. Replace. Replaced. Replace. Uh -huh. It's coming. Hey, I hope he can fix this problem. Comencemos. Le damos la vuelta si quiere. Ahora voy yo. 
What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked every, everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I hear that. Has the maintenance the team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the, this problem. Okay. Okay. Atilio is back. So did you finish the practice class? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to return. Yes, we listen to you perfectly. I don't know if you listen to us. Nos escucha usted, Atilio? Yes, yes. Ah, ok. Y finalmente Atilio pudo practicar. Solo una vez. Ok, practique otra vez, pues, para que tenga el switching. ¿Con quién va a practicar Atilio? Aprovechemos la conexión. Okay. Con Nelly Lilipet. Ok, let's begin. Naya, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, look. Well, I do not have checking in everywhere and it's one turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are pleated? Yes, I have. I, Mario, the technician, and check it in two. We have not verified the rest on the computer. Anna has had some problem with her equipment. Yeah, I hear that. Has a main place team replaced the bodies? No, they have. Having my boss send the thing a uh, memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the problem. Vaya, este, no sé si quiere empezar ahora usted con Luke. Yes. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have shaken it everywhere and it won't turn on. on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked Are the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Maya, the technician, has shaken it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I have does have the mananine thing replace the ba batteries. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. Be the way the technician is coming. Wait, I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, thank you for your practice. Now let's return, okay? Okay. Let's get okay. back.
Okay, I'm going to ask Miss Claudia. Where are you, Miss Claudia? And, okay, thank you so much. And Miss, where is she? Miss Nelly Lilibet, would you please practice this conversation for the class? Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's okay. begin. What's wrong with the computer, George? Well, look, well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Hello? the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Thank you so much. Now, class. You tell me. Exercise number three, circle the correct words to complete the statements. Compare with a partner, but we're going to do it together. In number one, they check the system. Is it have or has? What would you choose? Has. To split? Has. 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 has they check the system? Has because they that is why we say has. Have. Because it is plural, we say have they. Remember that in the conjugation that I shared with you. Have they checked the system? We use has for third person singular. He, she, it. Okay. Now, number two, Mary had the same problem with her computer have or has has, has. has. Mary has. has okay now number three our boss has sent or sent a letter to the it department has. the first or the second one second. the second one the second one and that's it very well Okay, now we move. If you turn off the microphones, please. Okay, thank you. And here we continue. And you have your next activity here. There is a role play. There are issues with some equipment in your workplace. Yes or no? So right now, the manual asks you to get in person, create a conversation expressing what the problem is and what you have done about it. Use the present perfect and later you're going to present the conversation in front of your classmates and teachers here in front of the main session room. My advice is take this conversation as your model and then you if you want to, or if you want to create your own conversation, perfect. But we have been talking about issues with the machinery and equipment at work. And we know that we have different uh, issues with the, with the equipment and machinery at work. So you are going to create a conversation, but in this case, we are going to use the present perfect tense and you have to mention in the conversation what you have done in order to fix the problem, but it was not possible. Van a mencionar qué es lo que ustedes han hecho para resolver la situación, pero no fue posible con sus gestiones resolver el problema, okay? Because here, that's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Ya revisó que todos los cables estén conectados. Yes, I have. Acá está contestando que sí, ya hizo esa acción, pero mm, it doesn't seem to work either, okay? So you use your creativity and think about an issue or a problem, okay? In order to create a conversation using the 
present perfect tense. And here we go. Do you have questions about the activity? Maybe can I use um, a problem in the office or in wherever place? Uh, usually it's at workplace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hold it. And here we go. Okay. Join your groups, please. Everybody participating. I sent you the invitation. Teacher, no pude y se me desapareció el link. No puedo ingresar. Sandra Leticia. Permítame. Ya la asino, Sandra. Ah, porque estaba en el equipo 2. La voy a mover a un equipo y luego la envío al equipo que le corresponde. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. ¿Me puede enviar el grupo donde estaba con Carla y... No, porque como eh, son equipos de tres. Pero ah, permita, sí, permítame, no, permita. ¿Dónde estaba solo usted? En el cinco. No. Usted, Luis, está, permítame. Ah, ok, permítame, ya le resuelvo. Primero le resuelvo a a Sandra y luego le resuelvo a usted, ok la, vo la voy a enviar al equipo 3 y a usted también con Celia Luis Miguel, ok ok, okay. es que Celia me parece solita ¿eh? no se han unido Entonces, sí, está eh... riendo ya sola ahí <ríe> ok join your group, I sent you the invitation ¿Y qué está haciendo aquí Celia? Si ya le mandé a sus compañeros, regresense a su equipo. Allá van a estar ellos esperando. Si ¿Sí tiene la invitación, puede regresar. No, Celia, no puede regresar. Allá está Sandra Leticia y Luis Miguel. La voy a enviar al equipo 4 y luego la regreso a su equipo, ¿ok? Si no, me van a regresar todos. Bye. Únaseme al equipo 4 y luego la regreso al equipo 3. Sí, a mí también. Eh. ¿A mí también qué? ¿Nelly? ¿Nelly? Sí, sí, iba con, con no, pero es que, es, que, no, es que los grupos se han dividido porque ahora se han creado seis. Nelly la está esperando Marina Yancy Sandoval en el equipo cinco. Una hacia el equipo cinco, por favor, Nelly. Vaya. Es que los equipos están de tres. Ya les voy a resolver. Vámonos al equipo cinco. Hello, Nelly and Marina Yancy. Are you available, Marina Yancy? Marina Yancy is not available. Entonces, Nelly, Nelly, go to group number two. I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? Okay. Hoy no vamos a... We Yo want to say... Que... Ay, caramba. <risa> Celia estaba riéndose, efectivamente. No le creo. Yo, abatida, porque ella está allá de regreso, niña. <risa> y los compañeros acá, y hoy hay cuatro personas acá. Ajá. Vaya, a ver. Cinco, cinco, vemos. No, participantes, no. ustedes lo están ah, a ver si sí. le hace falta... <risa> Pero neces miren, necesito a alguien. Sandra Leticia, ¿usted está disponible? Uh, o sea, ¿cómo? Ah, ok, sí tiene. Bueno, es que necesito a alguien en el, en el equipo 6. Porque solo hay dos participantes allá. Okay. ok. 
Mm -hmm. Os vemos. Okay, see you later, okay. Gator. I'll see you later. <laughs> ¿Y por qué se ando, ve? ando verificando. Okay, Los revisores no somos nosotros. No, yes, I know. I know. Qué malo. Ajá, bye bye. <laughs> Hello, Nelson and Atilio. Are you okay with your audio? Están bien los dos, Nelson y Atilio. Hello. Para trabajar, porque les envié a Mierna Lisset, pero parece que no, no se ha unido todavía. A mí porque no me deja hablar la tos, teacher. Ah, vaya, entonces eh, los, a, los, a, los, a los dos. Pero lo estamos trabajando, teacher. Ah, porque los puedo unir con Stephanie y con Wendy Maricela en el equipo 1, porque allá solamente tengo dos participantes. ¿Les parece? Okay. O, pues sí, porque como alguien acá está enfermo, para que se sientan menos. Entonces les voy a enviar la invitación en este momento, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, here we go. Team number one. And Nelson, you are still sick. Go to team number one, too, ok? Hello, Hello class. Listen, in this team we have Stephanie and Wendy. Are you available girls or only Atilio and Nelson? Mm. Stephanie, are you available? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Sí, eso iba a estar de oyente, teacher. Okay. Bueno, chicos, entonces les va a tocar a ustedes continuar con la conversación porque Wendy está en un funeral. Okay. Ah, está bien, yo. Ok, you continue, sorry. Yo voy, teacher. Ok, ahí, great. Excelente. Ahí después se la muestra. Ok, great. Bueno. Se llama. El cuello Es fluid o es R. ¿Por qué era ahí? Quiero ver, eh, aquí tendría que contestar, eh, no sé si Carla o Nelly, una de las dos. Si quiere, yo para irnos alternando. Ah, ok. <ríe> uh, en arriba, después de verify y antes de D, creo que va un if. If they see uh -huh. Ajá. Cierto, cierto. Uh, yes. ¿Cómo sería? Yes. Yes, es poet. Yes. O de AC, él se llama. It, ajá, de AC es esto. Porque también eh, mm, mm, yes, porque también eh, podríamos poner yes, I really check it. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Quién soy yo? No sé. Yes, I really check it. Que ya lo revisó. No sé. Uh -huh. sí. Probablemente se puede, podríamos ponerlo así. I... En, ¿Cómo sería? Si no, y sigue sin encender. La verdad es que nos acomodamos en entrar con la mascarilla yeah. normal, la, la esa es blanca que venden, yeah. no las que dan en la empresa, ¿verdad? Entonces esta otra no nos protege del polvo y eso quizás es lo que me ha molestado. Ok. Mm. Ya volvió Celia. Ahí está. Ok. Entonces, what is wrong with the car, Celia? Um, my car have a strange noise. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 
podría ponerle hello, Luis. Well, I don't know. I have checked every. Digo que sigue con el problema, entonces le pongo. I think I need to talk about with technician. I think to need to. I think. Espérame que no le, no le alcancé a copiar. I think to. To talk. Tiene que hablar. To talk. O call. I need to call. Technician. 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 Entonces, espera, le voy a dar vuelta a esto. Solo para darle sentido a la oración como la llevaba. And yes, I have to continue with the problem. Después le dice usted, Tony has changed the toner the last week. And then, and then, I think that we need to call the technician team. Sí. La I de Irene. Porque como a él le dijo, vea, eso está muy malo y que y acerca del tono, o sea, se ha cambiado. Uh -huh. Ya lo chequeó. Uh -huh. Entonces, el tono es a change de tono de la week. And then, I think, o sea, ya que lo cambió, ¿verdad? Y sigue con el problema. Y no, y no funciona. Que, que, que el técnico lo vea. Que llamamos al equipo técnico, exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí. Y a poner norma. Ok, yo soy Susana. Hey, sí. De, ma, de terma, Leva. De terma. De terma. Eh, word done. Word well o word done. Eh, well. No sería. Well done. Es... Bien hecho. Well, well done. El, el, well done. Ajá. No, pero ¿y trabaja no. bien? He works uh, very well. En, o ellos están bien. No, o... pero aquí estamos hablando de que si el término está eh, en on. He is on. Ajá. It is, is on. I verify the term is on. Así. Vale. Ya. Pongámosle ahí que si sí, checo la batería, quiero ver. Claudia, your group, your group is uh, Claudia Maria. Oh, hi. Your group? I your was group? with Atilio and Nelson. Atilio and Nelson. Here. En este grupo estaba usted, Claudia. No, yes. en el anterior. En el, no. 
Yes. Ese, ese fue en el anterior, pero en este no. No, también en ese, pero como que la sacó Zoom. Sí, hasta ahorita logró entrar otra vez. Ah, ok. Ok, so continue working. Sí, porque arriba okay. decir dónde estaba para enviarla a ese equipo. Ok. No, pero bye. sí aquí está ah, con okay. nosotros, pero la sacó. Sí. Ok, bye. 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 Y seguimos en la Requit. Request. Así. Request. Ajá. Request. Así Luis, es. I see, see. Luis, uh, perdón, sería. I see, by the way, the mechanic is coming. Celia, great. I hope yeah. he can fix the problem. This problem. We finished, teacher. What do you think about the conversation? Would you read it for me, please? Okay. What's wrong with the car, Celia? Hi, hello, Liz. Well, I don't know. I have a checked it everywhere and it won't turn off and have a straight noise. That's too bad. How about the batteries? I have the checks. All the fuse are good. Yes, I have a Mario, the mechanic of the company, has checked it too. We have not verif verified the rest of the systems. Sandra has had the same problem with her company car. Yes, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent them a replacement to date. I see. By the way, the mechanic is coming. Great. I hope he can fix these problems. Okay. No tengo cámara encendida. Sorry. Any advice, teacher? That's okay. Very well. So you're going to present it in front of the class. Yes? Okay. No problem. Okay. We are artists. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I have okay. I'm going to monitor the others and you continue practicing. So you okay. Thank you can you. have an excellent performance in class. You. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Probably well. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces dos horas Finish. en el mejor de los casos. Finish. Pero no hemos utilizado el donde hagan. Está cantando. No sé, tal vez aquí, antes de decirlo, antes de que, de que Marina indique, o bueno, que Marina pregunta sobre, mmm, sobre el, tiempo. el tiempo que se va a, a tardar, pongamos de que le pregunta, ¿hace cuánto tiempo tuvo el último mantenimiento? Como para poder utilizar... Esta pregunta de Alden Mendes. Sí, he oído eso. Probablemente, si te preguntas, ¿has chequeado recientemente? ¿Has chequeado recientemente? Y ella dice: No, I haven't or no, we haven't. Chequeado. Recently, uh -huh. recently, and the answer is negative. No, no, they... mm -hmm. no, I haven't, or no, we haven't, because it is you the question. I... No, I haven't. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I haven't. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Y entonces aquí ah, le podemos poner qué norma. Ah, le puede decir what about. What about. The maintenance. What about the maintenance. The maintenance. Mm -hmm. 
Are you ready, class? Yes? To return? Yes. Yes. Okay. So get ready. And do the three participate in the conversation or only two? The three. The, the three. three. Okay. Excellent. Because you're going to present. Remember, that is the instruction in the manual, okay? To present it for the class. So let's return. Ready to present your very serious Miss Celia Cristina. Before you present your conversation to the class, I'm going to call your names to take the second attendance because you were working very hard in the groups. I didn't want to interrupt you. Okay, here we go. Atilio. Atilio. Present. Okay, thank you so much, Atilio. Present, present. Yes, thank you. Brandon, Brandon, are you here? Claudia? Present. Thank you, Miss Claudia. Concepcion? Here. Present. Darío? Darío is okay. Okay, Brandon, thank you via chat you are answering. Darío is not here. Miss Stephanie Carranza, she's not. Josué was absent today. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Here. Luis. Present teacher. Marianne. Marianne Scarlett. Marina Yancy. Marina Yancy. She's absent at the moment, but she was here before. Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Thank you. Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. Via chat, you are answering. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Pablo. Adalberto Abrego. Present teacher. Sandra. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Wendy. Over here, Miss Wendy. Present teacher, present teacher. Carla. Present. And Miss Celia Cristina is here. Okay, Present. let's listen. Let's listen to the first team. Okay, here we go. Atilio, Brandon, Claudia, Stephanie, Nelson, and Wendy, are you ready? Ready. Okay, begin with your. Uh... Hello, me. Yes. Okay. Hello. Do you have one more umbrella? Oh, I I sorry. I have the wind too in a way. Oh, thanks. Anyway, but there is a store around here. The man who is there has many of them. Okay, but I don't see it. Uh, where are you going to get there? 
you have to go and do this start and cross the cream alley. Okay, thank you very much. All right, you have to speak humbly. The man is very angry. Okay, bye. Um, okay, listen, you use the verb have, but not in the present perfect. You use the verb have as an obligation. You have to, you have to, yeah? You have to go to work every day. You have to brush your teeth, okay? That is, as uh, the verb is correct, but the structure is not present perfect. La estructura que usaron no es en presente perfecto, sino que have to de obligación, de un deber de tener que hacer algo, pues, ¿ok? Que lo vimos ya anteriormente. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. But you did a great effort. We're going to go deeper into that tomorrow. Now in team number two, we have Pablo, Nelly, and Carla Sofia, please. Uh, hello, I have a problem with the AC. What is the problem with the AC? The AC won't turn on. Have uh, you verified the AC explosion? Yes, I already checked and it is still doesn't work. Have you checked the thermal is shut down? Yes, I verified the thermal is on. Have you already checked if the batteries of the control are good? Oh my God, it's true. I have for a replacement. We have gone to buy new batteries. Thank you for your help. It's a pleasure to serve it to you. Thank you so much. Very well done. You used the correct structure. And now it's time to listen to uh, Miss Celia Cristina, Luis Miguel, Sandra Leticia. And Mariana Scott. Okay, Sandra Leticia, please. Okay. Celia. The microphone, sir. Voy, voy, voy. Se está riendo. Qué raro. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What is wrong with the, the car, Celia? Hello, Liz. Well, I don't know. I have checked it it's everywhere and it won't turn off and have the strange noise. That's too bad. How about the batteries? How they check all the fuels are good? Yes, I have a Mario, the mechanics of the company has checked it too. We have not very big verified the rest of the same system. Sandra has had the same problem with her company car. Yeah, I hear that. Had the main steam replaced the battery? No, they haven't. My boss sends the our business to date. I see by the way the mechanic is coming. Great, I hope we can fix these problems. Can you please check my car first? I really need to go to the doctor. I have a flu. Very well done. Okay. She has flu. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah, yeah. She made it real. Okay, excellent. We need, very well. We need an Oscar. <laughs> and then we say, hmm, very weird that you have the flu in these days. Now let's listen to Tony's group. I don't know if they are available. Mm -hmm. Tony's group. Is yes. there somebody? Okay. <clears throat> let's listen to I'm this group. To share, share you. I'm going to share you. Okay. Let me. Okay. Very short, but 
Um, I think that we made the best effort. Okay. No veo yeah, nada. Right. No veo nada. Espérame, don Tony, que, que me sacó ahorita. Ahorita no sé qué le toqué aquí. Mm. Ahorita. Ahorita. Hello, Marina. What's no with the printer? Hi, Norma. Well, I am stressing because the printer is, doesn't work properly. I try turning off and on and it doesn't work. That is too bad. How about the toner? How do you check it? Yes, I have. And continuing with the problem. Tony has changed the toner the last week. And then I think that we need to call the technician team. Okay. In this moment, I'm going to check uh, all the connection, the cables, and the configuration. How do you check racing team? No, I haven't. What about the mananize? Almost, almost six months. Tony checked the printer. How about the time? How much time do you need to reply it? I need two hours. Okay. Okay. Finish. Okay. Very well done, yeah. Oh, well. class. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. You did a very good job, class. And let me see. Um, okay. Miss Claudia Maria, I need you to stay with me, please. Okay. Today, tonight, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Okay. People. Okay. okay people. Class work on the platform okay have a good night thank you for joining take care of your throat your nose your head okay be careful god bless you see you tomorrow happy sleep see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Have a good, good night, night. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. congratulations bye. you work thank very you. hard bye bye take see care you tomorrow. Bye. good night thank you teacher have a good night bye bye good night happy sleep bye Bye bye, Stephanie. Bye bye, Wendy. Okay, Miss Claudia, you had problems today with the with the connectivity, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. and we were working today with the present perfect tense. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any problem with that structure? Tiene algún problema con esa estructura? Con el presente perfecto, que es el tema que vimos esta noche. Uh... No, really. Vaya, veamos. Revisemos y me dice dónde podría haber algo en lo que le podamos ayudar. Ok. okay. Porque sí estuvo uh, conectada con la explicación, ¿verdad? Al inicio, sí. Sí. Sí, bien. Y uh, esta es la estructura. Y también trabajamos estas oraciones. Sí, también estuvo conectada. No le falló ahí la conexión. Ah, ese sí lo vi. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Muy bien. Entonces, dígame, what is the difference between the present perfect tense and the simple past tense? The present simple. Bye bye, Stephanie Carranza. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el pasado simple y el presente perfecto? ¿Cómo identificamos cuál es pasado simple y cuál es el presente perfecto? El pasado simple es el, la forma normal, digamos, del verbo, pero en pasado, o sea, uh -huh. eh, vaya, le, le ayudo un poco, acá el manual le va a ayudar. Y esto es lo que les compartí también ahí, ¿verdad? Pero de otra manera, en, en vía WhatsApp, en mi presentación. Use the present perfect to talk about unfinished actions. Y esta es la clave, mire. Usamos el presente perfecto para hablar acerca de acciones que no han finalizado. O estados o hábitos que comenzaron en el pasado, pero continúan en el presente. Mientras que el pasado simple 
finalizó. Ahí ya no hay más que, por eso les decía yo el ejemplo. Last night I went to a restaurant. ¿Por qué? Porque la noche de ayer ya pasó. Ya no tiene repercusión en el presente, solo el recuerdo. Que fui al restaurante también ya es una acción en pasado que no tiene nada que ver con el presente, ¿sí? Entonces, esa es la clave. Y usualmente cuando eh, expresamos oraciones en pasado simple, hay un periodo de tiempo, ¿sí? Last year, last week, last night, yesterday, last month, two days ago, pero en el presente perfecto, ¿no? Y tenemos acá otra aclaración. Use the verbs in the past participle. Cuando usamos lo, la estructura del presente perfecto, el verbo que vamos a utilizar, el verbo principal es en participio pasado, ¿sí? Mucha gente lo confunde cuando se usa un verbo regular. ¿Por qué? Porque los verbos regulares, la mayoría son el mismo presente, pasado simple con el pasado participio, ¿sí? Ok, entonces, acá usas los verbos en, el en la forma del participio y el auxiliar has para tercera persona de singular y have para I, you, we, and they. And in the negative statements, we are not after the auxiliary. For example, the team has not had the kind of problems. That kind of problems. Y otra negativa, como que hay problemas ahí en su audio todavía, Claudia. Y luego tenemos acá en, en number four. Jenny has not loved the court. De acuerdo. Entonces, esta es la estructura que veíamos. Y ya en contexto. La dimos acá, mire, en la conversación, ¿sí? ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, yo les decía que acá, mire, Ana has had. No sientan extraño esto porque el verbo have tiene doble función. In this case, has is the modal auxiliary. En had is the main verb. En esta oración, has es el verbo auxiliar porque Ana es el sujeto. Y had es el participio pasado. En este caso, el verbo principal es had, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ana has had the same problem with her equipment. En esta oración se está utilizando la doble función del verbo have, ¿sí? Como modal auxiliary and past participle, ¿ok? Bien, entonces practiquemos esta conversación. You are Luke and I'm George. You begin. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked it? All the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Now we switch. You begin. Ahora intercambiamos usted inicia. I'm going to begin again. Oh, okay. We switch. I begin. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. Uh, that's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. 
Great. I hope he can fix the, this problem. Okay. okay, now you're going to read alone, okay? Hoy todo el párrafo, usted, todo el par, eh, la conversación usted solita. Go ahead. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Very well. Congratulations. Okay, you did it. And now let's practice this other conversation. I am Ramon and you are Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fall one, a fall um, of one of the machines. I will have a look at it. Ah, uh, you're right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of, comp of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the Brushes one a fortnight to make sure they they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend extend the shot. Okay, now let's switch. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported the fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. All right. You know. It does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Mm, yes. Okay. Complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Now you read alone. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fall on one of your machines. I will have to look at it. You are right. You know, it doesn't work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal cases off to verify if, if it is a minor fault or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to spin things up. I recommend check the brushes one a fortnight to make sure they are not down. What happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Very well, excellent. And here we have the, okay, the paragraphs, do you remember? Here, mm -hmm. we're going to read only number one and number two, okay? Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. What's told most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is to 
not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry, acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain details. Now you, number one. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be a fool that some people know what you mean. We whistle. whistle. Most whistle. people in whistle. Mm -hmm. Most people in your office business will be uh, intuitive. Intuitive and switch on. They are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who, to who you contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take a few seconds more to explain the details. Okay, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle. Drinking in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversations and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whistle, uh, you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions. That would be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they'll switch off after a while. You don't want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to batter it up and would rather get straight to be the point or on what needs to be actioned or delivered, rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse you. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle. Dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversations, and especially not an email or when it is set up, set up instructions. Whisper, uh -huh. you don't yes. know rumble on your set of instruction. That will be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and will rather get straight to be the point of what needs to be actions on delivery rather, rather than making the instructions to flooring florally which will only confuse. Okay, thank you so much. You had a reading session. Miss, thank you so much for joining to this one-on-one -on -one session. I hope to see you tomorrow and I hope that the connectivity for you is going to be better, okay? I think I won't be in the class tomorrow. <gasps> Why not, Miss? I have an event at uh, eight. Ah, yeah, okay. See you Monday then, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye. Take care.